I am Jennifer Turner, and I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I came to Baton Rouge um, shortly after Hurricane Katrina. So what led me to Elevate, I was actually going uh, through a rough time. I was dealing with uh, grief and also going through a breakup, so I was in a very dark place, and I actually didn't want to go to my home church. And so I asked my friend who's a member here what time church service start. And she told me, and so I told her if I felt up to it that I would come. And so Sunday morning I got up, I felt like coming to church, so I did. I came to visit and I came to the first service at 915 and Holy Spirit told me to join, but I just kind of went back and forth with it and I just was like, no, I'm already a part of a church, I don't think I need to join. But I ended up staying for the second service. And Apostle Keith actually uh, came over to me during service and spoke a word to me. And then Holy Spirit spoke again and told me to join Elevate. And so I did. Actually, with that moment when I joined March 6th of 2022, um, it was a reminder that God was with me. When apostles spoke to me, it was the exact words that I was crying out to God about. And so I knew that God was talking to me, that he was responding to my needs. He wasn't answering in the moment because I was still going through a lot of hurt and pain, but him speaking to me let me know, I'm with you, I heard you, and I'm gonna take care of you. So that was a very pivotal moment that I, I knew God heard my, my cries and heard my voice. The ministry has shaped my personal faith by the transparency that goes forth in the ministry. Um, the people there, they have a heart to serve and there's a lot of transparency and it makes it easier for me to open up and for me to share my story, for me to cry, worship, do whatever I, I feel like doing without being judged and without uh, fear of being talked about. And so just to see the heart of people and the way that they love on each other and loved on me even when nobody really knew me, it just made me realize what real ministry was really about. That it wasn't just about coming to church or just about uh, bringing your tithes and things like that. It's really about God's people and serving and loving on each other. Um, when I witnessed uh, the provision and answered prayer was actually recently. Uh, I have a small business uh, where I make uh, pecan candy and ooey gooey cakes and lately I had been feeling like I had lost my zeal for the business and so I was asking God what he wanted me to do and so um, Holy Spirit said just post every day for a week, nothing about, just everything about the business, no other things, don't share any other memes or anybody else's stuff, just post strictly about the business. So that's what I did, I just posted old pictures, put captions up, tagged my business in stories, and I just started getting orders out of nowhere. People I don't really usually talk to, I'm getting order confirmations, I'm getting um, contracts for events and things like that, so that, just to show, uh, God's provision in that because I was really feeling like maybe I need to shut the business down. I was really contemplating that. And then um, after going through that week of doing what God told me to do, he started showing up and providing. I have seen so many people be set free and delivered and healed for real. Not just uh, coming down the aisle, giving my life to Jesus and going about uh, your business, but no, really turning their lives around and living for God. And just to see the difference in people's uh, personalities, attitudes, the way they speak about themselves and other people, um, just to see people who couldn't walk walking, people who were dealing with all kinds of illnesses and stuff healed and whole. I've seen that. I've seen God do those things. And so it has renewed my faith and my strength just to see people who just did not give up and receive their healing and receive their deliverance, receive their restoration. It's just been awesome to see that. 
a memorable um, experience serving in ministry is with the children's ministry, actually, to serve on side of uh, Sister Sharon and Sister Gabby and Sister Shakita. They uh, do an awesome job with the kids and the different um, events we did. We just currently did our service in Gonzales, and it was just awesome just to uh, connect with the families and the children, and then we also have fun with them. So just to do ministry with them and to do it on a whole new level not just giving bible stories and things like that but we actually teach them about uh about jesus's life and the way we're supposed to live even teaching them about the lord's supper and how sacred it is and how important it is those things we've really gone deeper in children's ministry so that has been so uh monumental to me as far as ministry is concerned The advice that I would give to people coming uh, to visit Elevate is to take God out of the box, take church out of the box, to not, um, to, it, it's just not your everyday church. Just don't come in with preconceived notions about the way church should be run or how service is. Take all of that out of the box and just come and be open to whatever God does in the moment. Just be open to the worship. Be open to whatever God wants you to receive. I would tell anybody who's coming to, who's contemplating coming to join the ministry is to uh, take church out of the box, to not uh, come in with any preconceived notions about the way church should be ran. Just come and be open to whatever God has for you in that moment. Whatever kind of worship, praise, or uh, uh, ministry that goes forth, just be open to all of that. Uh, one message that really um, stuck out to me, it's quite a few, but one in particular is uh, about God said what he said. It's really about just standing on his word and standing on his promises. And so we always have to be mindful of God's word towards us, no matter what it looks like, even if it doesn't look like anything of what God said, that we have to believe his word and believe his promises. God is God and he can do whatever he wants to do, however he wants to do it. And so we have to stand on that. So if he said it, then that's exactly what it is. My faith um, influences my daily life by the way I see things. Um, a lot of things don't get to me as much as they used to. Um, even when things, challenges come, I still know where I can go. I can go to the Word. I can remember what God said. And so I stand on that. So even though I may feel a certain way about a situation, I know that it's okay because I believe what God said. So, and then I don't treat people the way they treat me sometimes. That's my faith, that I'm not gonna do to you what you've done to me because of what God told me to do. So it doesn't change who I am. It just, it changes how I see you, but it doesn't change how I treat you because of my faith in God. Uh, one thing I would share about my journey at Elevate is that, um, is the leadership of the church. Um, Pastor Keith, Pastor Adam, and Pastor Tiffany do a great job with uh, being totally transparent and holding people accountable. And so when you have people in your life that hold you accountable, that wants you to do things right and live Christ-like in, in, in the kingdom, it makes you step your game up. It makes you do things differently because you know there are people who care enough that will pull your coattail if they have to.